Hello, my name is Nathan Whitaker with Stimulus Technologies. This is our part three in our series of your network security for your small business. And today I'm going to be talking about spam. Spam is one of the most frustrating things, I think, for computer users because it is uh, comes in constantly to your email box, contains a lot of issues with viruses or information that you don't want, and can waste a lot of your time. It's been found that over 90% of all emails out there going across the internet are spam messages, messages that you don't want. And so as a user, you want to figure out how to get rid of those messages. And so it's essential to have some type of spam protection on your email service. Uh, a lot of uh, servers uh, have a, some, a certain amount of spam protection built into them, but it's usually not sufficient enough to block uh, the amount of spam that's coming into your, to your network. One of the issues also of having spam protection directly on your server is that you're wasting a lot of internet bandwidth that you're purchasing just by receiving those mails and having to process them. Our suggestion here at Stimulus is to have a separate service that's external from your company's mail server to protect you from this spam. Um, we have a service ourselves that we call uh, No Spam, but there's a lot of other services out there that are good, good services. Um, some online services have uh, spam protection built into them. So if you're using something like Microsoft's Office 365 or Gmail or some other type of service, a lot of those have spam protection built into them. One of the reasons it's essential to have spam protection is a lot of the viruses and malware out there today are coming in through through spam, through your emails. And if you don't have good and proper protection, um, it could allow viruses into your network. Uh, a lot of your desktop antivirus systems will clean that uh, spam coming in also and remove the viruses, but it's best not to let those viruses get all the way to your user desktop because if that software is not up to date, it could cause problems on your network. So it's really important to have that um, spam removed. Uh, before it hits your server, and especially before it hits your desktops. Um, there's another way to do it. A lot of uh, routers, uh, such as SonicWalls, which is one that we suggest, have anti-spam protection built into them. So you can have anti-spam at your firewall also uh, before it goes into your network. So there's a couple of things to know about spam protection. Uh, one of them is uh, getting false positives, which means that the spam protection thinks that the email is actually spam, but it's, it's not. And so um, you need to make sure that you have a method for your users to go in there and retrieve those messages. In our system that we use, we have a quarantine area. Quarantine uh, allows you, the user to go in there and say, um, I want that message to come in and possibly also whitelist uh, the domain. Whitelisting is saying, I want to allow messages coming from that email address or that domain or that network. And so the spam protection will always allow it to come through. The other issue that uh, you have is, is false negatives. And false negatives are where the spam protection doesn't think a spam message is really spam and allows it to go through. And most spam protection has a way for the users to go in there and flag those messages as spam so the system can learn. Uh, it's really important to have a spam protection system that can learn from the users um, as they interact with it on exactly what is spam and what is not. And that learning process makes the spam filter much better. So spam is frustrating. Um, there's really good spam protection out there nowadays that's uh, very accurate. Um, and we recommend having some type of protection because if you allow uh, those viruses and malware and that spam to get through to your user's desktop, uh, it can cause major issues on your network. This is Nathan Whitaker with Stimulus Technologies and uh, today he's been talking about spam.